بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. For this video today, I'm going to be discussing about the various videos that we have online today about earning halal money and looking at ways that one can make halal. And we will just look at generally how Islam's advice is towards us about navigating this all. We see today that, you know, people are trying to find ways to make money fast, shortcuts, ways to kind of navigate through all of this fitna and these uh, different methods of making money. But what does Islam have to say about this? Because obviously, we need to earn money. There's no doubt about this. We need to make risk, and we should. But what is the general view of Islam when it comes to this? Now, number one, we must make it very clear that it's not forbidden for a Muslim to work hard and make money and become rich. This is against the thinking of people that think, oh, I am religious, I am practicing Islam, I shouldn't be successful. No, Islam is encouraging this. Why? Because we need to have successful people to be able, good Muslims, that will be able to use this money for the right things. Whereas if we have people that are, you know, not following the Islamic path, making money, then, you know, they might not use it for the right reason. So it's important that we have Muslims that can work hard, be successful, and build different various things. They can do different projects, help people, and spread the message of Islam through their wealth. This is number one. Number two, it's important to remember that the early generations, like Sufyan al he mentioned that verily the wealth is like the shield of the believer because it protects them from relying upon different uh, people. So they don't need to go to, uh, in the time of Sufyan al specifically, go to the ruler and ask him for wealth because then they would be tempted by, the, swayed by the ruler to do things that are not pro uh, uh, appropriate or permiss permissible in Islam. So for this reason, it's good to have wealth. It's good to work hard. It's good to earn money. Islam doesn't stop anyone from making halal money. But Islam does make it very clear there are guidelines on how to make money and what we should do on the way to making money. So for example, you have a person who's working very hard to make money and he's doing it and this isn't wrong but it's haram wealth that makes it all wrong so let's make this very clear the first thing that we should do is first understand that making money is good a Muslim should work hard he shouldn't be looking for ways to make shortcuts he should work hard make his target and goal to earn money for the sake of Allah because this is ibadah in itself if he makes his intention good such as the one who's not working right now and they are studying for example if they make their niyyah that I want to earn this a qualification so that I may be able to get, get older and spread wealth for example you know, use the wealth to benefit the Muslims or to use the wealth to, to spend on my family or use the wealth to protect myself from any fitna this wealth and this studying becomes ibadah the same way a person who earns money to use it on his family or earns money to use it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his earning becomes a, a rewarded thing so we have to say this first. The niyyah is very important. Number one, the intention. So the intention of earning money should be very clear. The number two, the intention after that, the intention should be obtaining a halal way to earn money. Now, as we know, for example, we are told in Islam that we should research and investigate all the, all the methods and ways to find out if something is halal or haram. Example, we want to, for example, we want to eat in a restaurant and we're told by somebody maybe that restaurant has haram food you automatically would say i'm not going to eat that why because you'd have to do the research and check maybe that person's right maybe he's not maybe he gives you information maybe he doesn't the point is you're definitely not going to be the same way when you were first going to that place to eat then after because you definitely felt earlier oh it's halal i will go and just eat and see what happens but then when someone tells you wait by the way that restaurant they're not got good food, the halal, food is not halal, you would run away and say, oh, you would definitely think two, three times before you go and eat that. What about the one who's earning money and doesn't know whether it's halal or haram? This is a problem. So for example, we need to understand that in, in Islam in and of itself, it tells you to research every single part of what you will do. For example, I want to open a business tomorrow, I should research about all the rules and regulations according to Islamic guidelines, whether it's allowed or not allowed. I want to, for example, you know, go to eat in this restaurant, for example, and you know, someone tells me it's got haram food, I will go and research it. I want to go and do this type of career. The point is, we should investigate whatever we want to do, we should investigate it before. So for example, 
Someone says to you, are stocks permissible or not permissible? Is it allowed to earn money? You can earn money fast through stocks or crypto, all of these things. Not giving a fatwa here. We're saying, go and do your utmost best to research, investigate. Is this thing permissible? Find out from all the people that you trust, people of knowledge. Go to your local masjid. Go and ask people of knowledge that you trust or find uh, you know, reliable from your friends or family. Sit with the several, not one. Don't just take the first person. Take anyone that you trust to find out, is this thing permissible? Is it allowed? Are there any things that are going to go against Islam? They may say to you, go and find out more yourself. The point is, free yourself from the burden that whatever you're earning, whatever you're doing, is halal and permissible according to the religion of Islam. That's the first thing. So make sure you do your utmost research. Check, is this thing allowed or not? Because if I was, to, if, like we said before, if anyone was to tell you this thing that you got here is not, it's not allowed, you would certainly doubt yourself. You'd say, oh, why? But a person shouldn't be like that when it comes to earning his money. He or she should not be in doubt. Or oh, is this thing allowed or not? Be sure. Be 100% certain. And if, for example, if a person is going down the route of jobs, for example, even check the job. See, are all the guidelines matching? Are they permissible? Is it allowed? Is it to do, allowed to do this thing or that? And check all the, all the boundaries about this job. Because for verily, you'll be feeding your family this money and you don't want it to be unblessed and a detriment to your future without barakah. Finally, it's very important to uh, mention this point that if you are, for example, going down a specific pathway of work, check that you're following the Islamic guidelines during that job. So, for example, somebody who's going to go and work and it requires them to basically leave their rights of their religion, their obligations. This is something that they should not compromise, your principles. So do not compromise your principles when going to go in a future pathway because if that's the case, this is something, a red flag for you. You should avoid this at all, all costs because your religion comes first. As we said, Islam came in the maqas of the sharia to protect one's religion first. When it looks at the goals of the Islamic law, Islam came to protect the religion of the person first. So if that religion is at threat, or the religion is at risk, or the religion is at a stage where they may fall like because of this, they should protect that. And know that the risk is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah has already guaranteed you to earn your earning. But if you give up something for Allah, for verily, He will replace it with something better. So this is a test. Know that it's a test. Allah wants to see, are you going to be committed to the test? Are you going to fulfill that test? Are you going to be upright and firm upon your way? There's many ways to make halal money. There's many ways to even find those ways. Don't look at the haram ways. And this comes under this all of the types of haram wealth like drugs, alcohol, you know, places where it's promoting haram. All of those types of drug, uh, or those uh, forbidden types of, of uh, gambling, for example, you know, betting. All of these things, you take them out and say, I don't want to do them. Why? Because Allah has opened the door for halal. Wherever you live in the world, there is a way to earn halal. So if you cannot, let's say a person is struggling to find halal risk, they need to seek help from Allah. Seek the help, protection, aid of Allah. Don't go to the creation begging them. Go to Allah. Go to the one who created the heavens and the earth. The one who has the treasures of the heavens and the earth. Not to any, any creature. Because the creature, what can he give you? After you've put your trust in Allah and you've called upon him, that's the first place to go. Beg Allah. Seek Allah's help. Ask Him. After you've done this, then go and look for your risk. That this is what you need to do. Put your trust upon Allah and then go and get your risk. Because your risk will be unlocked. And this does mean the other side where after you've sought help from Allah, then go and seek it. Then you go ask people. Then you go look. And then remember the principle, man jadda wajad. Whoever is, you know, you know, man jadda wajad. Whoever is determined and, you know, Determined to find what he wants, will get it. You, you'll never find a person who wants something so much that he will lose it. So be determined. Be focused on your goal. Be at your utmost best to fulfill it and you will get what you're looking for. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make this beneficial. We ask Allah to make us of those that earn the halal risk. And we ask Allah to make us of those that have insight to go and research what's allowed. We shouldn't be of those that want to seek money in the wrong ways. والله أعلم وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم